Hey guys, this is Andy from Mobile Must Have. In this video, we're going over a brand new product from Peplink called the Peplink Antenna Max. Now here at Mobile Must Have, we're really excited about this particular product drop as it opens up kind of a new realm for what you're able to do with Peplink, their routers, and this new antenna. Now, real quick, what this is, is this is going to be a seven in one antenna. However, it's slightly different in the fact that you put the router inside. You get to choose out of a couple selections of which router you want. I've got a couple I'll show you here in a demo. So this makes it very flexible as to what you want this antenna to be. You can do it as a 5G antenna. It supports all the 5G uh, ranges, but you can also put in something like a Transit Pro and get dual modem off of this as well. We'll go more into that later. So this video is gonna be kind of in three or a couple sections overall. I'll put chapter markers down below if you wanna jump ahead. We're gonna first talk about what is the antenna, kind of what are the specs for it and all that kind of stuff. Then I wanna dive into what routers will fit inside of it. And then I wanna go over a couple specific use cases. We're really excited that this can now be used for. Uh, and then we'll also talk about installation as there are a couple included different ways you can mount this um, and install this all with what comes in the box. So let's first talk about the antenna. This antenna is supposed to get you a 7.4 gain overall. So it's gonna be a huge improvement on just signal strength over what we call the paddle antennas that come included. Uh, so a really great option if you're looking to get kind of a better signal overall and you just need more range out of what you've got, this is a great option. Now, like I said in the beginning, this is designed to have a router directly inside. It is watertight. You can see the, the weather ceiling there. And then on the back of this, you have ports where you can run certain or different types of cables in and out of this. If you wanted to run just a regular 12 volt or power source up to this, you can do that. There's enough room. But if you also wanted to run something like PoE, maybe you have a switch further away or where you're managing the rest of your kind of your IT aspects of it, you can run a powered ethernet cable up to it and that can be an option too. Now, really the best power option is going to be based on what type of device you have. Certain devices allow PoE, certain don't. So it's hard to answer exactly in this video what the right way for power is, but it is an option. Um, and if you have any questions specifically on power, reach out to us at Mobile Must Have. We have uh, a couple different PoE options. So if you're looking to do PoE, you want it to come off the switch. Peplink has some direct options that are OEM from Peplink. We also have some great ones that run just off of 12 volt and have upscalers built in and you can run that too. But again, it depends on which unit you're working with. At this moment in time of recording this video, some support PoE, some don't. And I know Peplink is working on bringing everything up to a more kind of standard set there. Now for this next section about routers, I, I have good and bad news. And I'm gonna start with the bad news. The bad news is it is slightly restrictive as to what devices will fit inside. Um, it doesn't fit obviously everything that Peplink's ever made. It's a pretty small kind of form factor, which is the benefit. Uh, but the good news is, is most popular products we sell here at Mobile Must Have, the most popular ones we sell, do fit inside. So there's very limit, very small limitations on our side as the four main units we sell will fit in here. The three main one units we fit in, we will fit. <laughs> uh, the first one we'll cover is the BR1 Mini. Um, this particular one I'm holding here um, is the Cat7 version. That will fit in fine, but you can also do the, the, uh, the BR1 Mini 5G. There's no Wi-Fi in that particular model, but if you're just running this up and then connecting it to a switch, you might just need it as a modem. That could be a great option. It's also very expensive for a 5G router. You can also fit the Transit Pro series in here too. So this is going to be um, a Transit Duo, uh, Transit Pro Duo. So the, the Dual Cat 12 one they just released will fit in, but the previous version, uh, the, the Cat 12 and Cat 7 will also fit. You can also do the Transit Core series. Any, any of the Transit series in this longer form format will also work. And the last one, which I don't have sitting here in front of me, is going to be the BR1 Pro. Uh, that'll be the Cat uh, 20 and the 5G version. They will also fit in here. So those are three of the main popular units we sell and will must have, and the three that fit in here. So it is a great option if you're looking for this. Now, 
I wanted to switch over to use cases, and some of you might be struggling to be like, why would you put a router in this and up on the roof? I can see that depending on your use case. We are really excited about this particular option, as in some installs, especially if you're in the marine space or in the commercial space, you don't have access to an antenna that is nearby. I know on my RV, my router and antenna are, I don't know, maybe three feet apart. So it's really easy to keep the router inside and the antenna, the, the actual cable itself isn't that long, so there's not that much loss. If you're going for a further distance, like on a sailboat where you have a 20, 30, 40 foot mass, you're gonna have a very long cable that runs to that antenna. The loss on that cable length is so great, it's almost, it's just not even worth having an antenna there. Um, at all. So what can be really beneficial is putting the router inside the antenna itself and then running an ethernet cable that distance. The difference between running an ethernet cable over distance is there's relatively no loss at all uh, versus an antenna has a very fast drop off. So adding everything kind of in one place, um, you can then put it outside, you can put it up high, you can put it where you need to get the signal and then you can use an ethernet to really get you that distance based on your particular installation. Now, installing of this is really quite simple and you have a couple options. The easiest one is going to be to surface mount it with the sticker pad it comes with. So you stick this down on the surface you want, you can stick this right down on top of it and you're done. It's pretty, pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. Now, from a install type, you have a couple options though for your cables. So how you're installing it really might matter more of where you need the cables to go. You'll first see there is gonna be a hole in the bottom. So if you wanted to drop the ethernet cable that comes out of this through the bottom or your power cable, however you're kind of doing that, you can do that. There's enough room for easily both a 12 volt power and a uh, ethernet cable there. However, you also have built-in ports on the back. Now, in this case, they're using just kind of the standard plugs. It comes with the cable glands you need to run a cable through here as well. Very, there's two um, big ones designed for ethernet, and then there's a smaller one if you just wanted to run power and do that as well. Uh, so really flexible. Now, if you're going out the side, that works great for a surface mount, then you can go down like a solar drop or any other cables you've got. This also will include a wall mount option where you can mount it right on a wall, have the cable again come down uh, the back or the side, as well as a pull mount option that uses a lot of the same hardware. It's very flexible and what I really like is that Peplink included all of those mounting options inside basically the core package, so there's no additional add-ons. The only add-on that they don't include um, is for the marine space. If you wanted to do kind of the marine pull mount, um, that is an option, it is compatible. The mounting options are here on the bottom. They just don't include that in this because they know that's probably the least likely mounting option. But it's a great one if you're in the marine space and want it kind of off the deck a bit, um, you can do that as well. The final part of this video is I was just going to actually put the BR1 Mini directly onto this. I'm trying not to scratch it on this metal table here. Um, but let, let's actually unbox this. Uh, let's actually do a quick install of this BR1 Mini so you can see what it looks like and see kind of what the process looks like. All right, and there we have it. So this is what the BR1 Mini looks like. The cables are really nice and pretty tightly wound in here, which keeps them from rattling um, if you're using all of them or not even using all of them. In this case, I actually unlatched the two Wi-Fi ones, which are latched down, uh, so I could use them for the BR1 Mini Cat 7. Uh, and then I have two extra uh, LTE or 5G antennas in this particular use case. Um, because this is going to be a seven and one antenna. You still get your GPS. Um, so overall you're getting that, you know, four, four cellular, two Wi-Fi, one GPS component. Great antenna, very exciting that this is now going to be available. This is already available at mobilemusthave.com. So if you're interested, it is available and shipping today. Now, if you want more information, Merck, which is our partner in education, is doing a deep dive look into this. Uh, if you would like to learn more about and how the antenna is performing, comparisons against the like the 42G antenna or the Parsec antennas or anything else in our lineup, they do a lot of great actual performance analysis on these antennas for their members. Now, if you're not a member, you can become a member of Mobile Must Have and get 
included membership in with their account as well. So that can be a great option. Plus, when you do that, you will get a discount on all hardware purchased from us as being a member yourself. Lots of great features and lots, you get upgraded shipping, um, discounts on data plans, all kinds of things when you're being a member. So if you're interested, uh, that can be a great option for you. <clears throat> But yeah, this is going to be the Peplink Antenna Max. If uh, you want to learn more, have more particular questions I didn't get to in this particular video, please make sure you reach out to us directly. You can talk to somebody on our support staff uh, and they'll make sure they get any questions you might have answered about any of the equipment you see in this video or any of our other videos. You can chat with them directly on our website. If you go to the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you can see uh, a chat feature there. It might ask you a question, but then it goes directly to a human um, if we're in business hours. You can also email us directly if you rather have a back and forth that way. Uh, info at mobilemusthave.com will get you right to our support staff as well. Uh, and of always, you can always leave a comment here too, and we're happy to get back to you on YouTube. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here with me today, and we hope to see you all on the road. Bye.